The million dollar question of why we were selling it is the million dollar question because we can't afford to own her. In other words, she, uh, again, with uh, the commercial really breeding operation that we have, we don't keep mares of that value. We put them back in the marketplace and let them be owned by someone, again, that will value them, breed them correctly on a go-forward basis. But in our operation, we just can't afford an asset that has that type of value. Uh, we've retained a couple daughters, so we're going to keep in the family and we're going to breed them as well as we can possibly breed them, but mama's going to have to go in somebody else's hands and somebody will be rewarded because she's a fantastic mare. The interesting thing is I think she has worldwide appeal only because here she is, she's had a more than ready that's a grade one winner on the turf as well as the dirt. So you're going to, we've had inquiries from people in Australia, we've had inquiries from people in Japan, we've had European interest and of course North American interest. So I think she truly has that worldwide flair that anybody can buy her. So we're very encouraged by that and think she will be well received in the marketplace. They're off and the run happy Travers. When they decided that uh, they were going to enter Catholic Boy in the Travers, I know there were some people that said they just couldn't believe that, that he would take you know, the Travers as opposed to the week before. There was a greater turf race that he probably would have been one to five in. They're coming down to the 16th pole. Catholic Boy is pulling away. He's so impressive today, the others didn't even have a prayer. Catholic Boy rolls in the run. Happy Travers. I remember the announcer just saying, you know, he's He's the fighter and coming down the stretch and he will not be denied. And that's kind of the way we've looked at Catholic Boy all along. He will not be denied. Well, I think it's the perfect time, perfect opportunity. Um, you know, she's the dam of, you know, one of the most exciting horses in 2018. Um, you know, Catholic Boy's won a grade one race on the turf. He's won a grade one race in the Travers on the dirt. Um, the mare's young, she's only nine years old. Her commercial value probably could never be any higher than, than it is right now. She's in full to stallion name Warfront, uh, which sure completes the package perfectly. And, you know, Fred and his partners are commercial breeders. I mean, their operation, and if you look at the, the long-term history of it, is, uh, you know, they, they deal in a, in a quantity of numbers, uh, very, very, very astute evaluators of, of their horses, uh, very astute in terms of buying mares and also selling mares. So. Um, you know, sometimes the time to sell is when you really don't want to sell because you got the complete package, the perfect package, and she's the perfect package in 2018. Very rarely do you find a, a mare that has produced a grade one winner that's under 10 years of age that has had foals every year, that looks the way she looks, uh, has the demeanor she has. She's the whole package, and people can look at her and they can envision, you know, 10 to 15 foals still available that could, you know, could be produced by the mares. She's the queen. She has the, everything about her, and she also has personality. But, uh, you know, the, the mental side of her and the mental side of foal she has had is her secret to success. So it, um, you know, beside being a gorgeous animal, uh, you know, she has that mental capacity that not many mares or mares produce in their foals have. She's 16 plus hands, she's perfectly conformed, uh, great presence, great color, and great mind. So she's the ideal broodmare.